uh, power tools and chainsaws, that kind of stuff. And it's 94 degrees outside. And there's jets flying all over the place. I think another one's taking off right here. Oh, there's four, oh, four of them right there. See those? Banking off, that is awesome. What's up, Michael Gray? Now one more banked off, that is awesome. Just like, like I, all I've done is hear jets when I've been up here. Four, I think, I don't know what those had two engines or not. F-35 has one engine, F-22 has two engines, I don't know. Jason Getty, what's going on? Vasquez, what's going on, Cor uh, Costa Rica? Dorian, what's happening? So I am hanging out in the 94 degree weather. Yes, sir. Okay. No pictures, guys. Yeah. No, I'm an outside carrier. Okay. I'll get back in. Sorry. I was checking out the jets. <laughs> So no pictures, guys. No pictures. <coughs> we do have to check out this mower, though. If, if the mower comes back. And we already are red light. Those jets are going over again, but this is the mower right here. It's like a little motorized one rolling around. I wanted to go over and like go see him, but I guess still has no pictures. Leon, Area 51. But he's gonna hit the curb and go back. Hit the curb and turn around. Yeah, no cameras. What's up, Ty Lewis? What's up, 404? Yeah, he did a little about face. Now he's going the other way. T Dub's doing great. Bye bye, robot mower. <laughs> I take you guys over there to see it, but uh, I don't want the security guard guy to chase me down. But we are red light. We'll give it some time, maybe we'll go over there. It's way cooler in the truck than it is out there. It is hot. 93 degrees now, it says. What's going on in your guys' world? Keith, what's up? Place for you're in a place. Yeah, but right where I was right there, like there's a fence right there and there's, it's not like barbed wire or nothing, it's just a, Broad iron fence, it's about three feet tall, so they just don't want the uh, cameras, I guess. What's up, Yusko? How you doing, bro? Kyle Nash is going good. It was just hot and a bunch of traffic today in uh, Charlotte. Somebody, a minivan was turned sideways, and then whoever hit him or, or however they did it, the SUV like went off into the trees and caught fire. So when I got there, the whole thing was out, not even smoking, but it was like a charred SUV. So T's and B's for them. No, my APU is not working. I got the compressor sitting right there. <laughs> I watched the uh, Tampa Bay Cowboys game, the opener, and I didn't put it in. Didn't have time. It was too hot. I do it right now, but it's also too hot. I want to do it uh, at home when it's a little bit cooler at night. So, but it is the AC system and APU is discharged, so I got all the Freon out of it. So I just have to disconnect it, um, take the belt off, put that in. It's only four bolts. I hold it on the top, and then, then two connectors in the back for the high and low side. It's easy and it's a single wire for um, engaging the clutch. So it's a pretty easy reinstall. What's up, James Keaton? How you doing? What's up, BJ Michelle? I don't know. Yeah, he and I was just like holding it towards myself, towards the fountain. So I'm not like I was filming anything else. But I guess they do have like a, um, you can kind of see right here, they do have like a probably like a research and development team right there or something. I don't know. Trucking with the best. What's going on? Tim Work working. What's going on? So I get it, they want some secrecy because they got the secret robot out here. He's working. Well, I'm right here in Channel Frost. I'm in uh, Virginia Beach, pretty close to the water. And if you saw the very beginning of this live feed, check it out. There's four, I don't know if they're F-22s or F-35s going in, in unison and then they keep breaking off one, one by one. 
David, the race truck is pretty cool. Cincinnati from Florida, 84. Yeah, I know. I mean, it was cool. Uh, the last couple of days at the lake, it was warm, but it was like low 80s. It's 93 up here. So, I don't know what's going on. What's up, William Conway? Uh, Ryan, I'll take it back to my buddies at Sunrise Auto to recharge it. Um, they're the guys who pulled it out. So, bring it back to recharge it to Volkswagen going by, but it's not a security guard guy. Military fly ops. Yeah, Harold, uh, I don't know what they're doing out here. What base is that? That's not Langley. Is that another base they're leaving from? Maybe it's Langley. 84 degrees. There you go, Robert. Where you at, Robert? Detroit. What's going on, Christopher? How's in Detroit? Cincinnati's Bengals won. Yeah, Joe Burrow did pretty good. He, his offensive line's horrible. He's scrambling for his life. He still won. Green APU Leon, 10,500 installed. That's a flat rate, like 10,500. Rick, I'm doing great. And uh, we have, we called to talk to APU people today. We're getting a stainless cover, uh, which is awesome. And I think we're going to do it Monday. We're going to put it in. So, Nomadic Brew, what's going on? 91 in Spartanburg? Dang it, the, the heat followed me, Nomadic. You should come by and say hi to T Dubs and the boys. If the pool is still open, Nomadic, you can go swimming. Or we'll take you out in the boat. Pull tankers before I go. Uh, TNT Cash, is that going to be with uh, Superior? Because that's a really good company. A couple guys from my school went there, and they're still there. Uh, but yeah, TNT Cash, Superior is a good company. Barry, what's going on, man? Naval Air Station, Oceana. Barry knows it all, man. Barry knows a lot about the uh, nuclear submarine base, too, right by where he lives. What's going on, brother? How is it down there? How warm is it where you're at? Eagles and first. Yeah, Bradley. Well, it's gonna, uh, who was the quarterback? Was it Jalen? I didn't even see the highlights from the Eagles game, but I saw they won. Garrison Lease driver here. What's up? What's going on, Larry? Afternoon. What's up, Robert Dunnan? No truck and turn by turn. No. You guys got the win, but that was an ugly game versus Clemson. 98 Mississippi. Man, it should keep the pool open. JB1206. What's up, man? How about them? Yeah, the Hawks looked real good, too. You can tell Russell Wilson that was kind of like a. There was some controversy about him staying in Seattle, and that was kind of like a I'm here to stay kind of game for him. You can see how much he was. Uh, how much he was going. I don't know, Keaton. Not, people have been saying what happened to their wrench. I don't know if YouTube took stuff away. I don't ever take wrenches away, so I don't know what's going on. Unless I'm on, I'm on my channel, right? Is this just Trucking's channel, or did I accidentally go live on T-Dub's channel? I don't know. I think it's my channel. Who knows? Uh, Brian, I am in, like, uh, Virginia Beach, just across the, underneath the tunnel from uh, Norfolk. No, I'm right next to Norfolk. Never mind. My brother lives in Newport, Newport News. He used to live in Newport News. You too, uh, MAO. God bless you, man. Jalen Hurts. There you go. 99. Someone else said 98. Thomas, it's hotter for your head. 65 in Washington. There you go. Yo. What's up, Mississippi? What's up, Matt? How you doing, buddy? You're in Gatlinburg. There you go, Barry. You're right above me, man. Uh, I might be going up to Nashville, Barry, on Monday. So how long are you going to be up there? I might come through your way and see you. Take T-Dubs with me. Take the Cobra. Hi, uh, buddy. Have you ever driven any Max for hire? And I've never... Sorry, guys. I'm back. Uh, T-Dubs just called me. She is doing up. Thanks so much for that uh, Swag and 7-7 for that Super Chat, man. Um, T-Dubs just called me, and she was out of breath uh, because uh, she just texted me. One more second. I got to text her back. All right. She wanted to know if she should leave the key or not, and I said yes. So our neighbor can drive it if he wants to. Norway, how are you doing? Hope I'm doing good. Doing good. 105 in Vegas, 69 Wisconsin. What's the difference between a lease operator and owner-operator? You can be leased onto a company and be an owner-operator. Owner-operator means you own the truck, or there's variances of it where you're leasing a truck. People say they're an owner-operator, but they really don't own it yet. So you could say an owner-operator is someone who completely owns a truck, or an owner-operator is someone who just leases on and his intentions of buying the truck. So come to Baton Rouge. There you go, Thomas, when it cools down. Leon, phone call. Yeah, it was a phone call. Sorry, guys, it was T-Dubs. I'm coming down to the comments. She, uh, so she's driving the um, Pacific Christmas lights. What's going on? Panama City, 94. Scottsdale, 110. My brother's working right off McDowell and like the 101 freeway now. So if you ever drive by McDowell and the 101, give him a little wave. Right south of Talking Stick Casino. Frankfurt, Kentucky, what's up? LSU, Tigers, wrong Tigers, though. Oregon, what's up, James? What's up, Average said 107? Paw, paw, howdy. Another LSU. I'm waiting until my truck prices come down. Exactly, TNT. I'm waiting the same way, man. I'll probably buy two more trucks once they're around 30 grand again. Leon, I'll still be... Okay, so, oh, you know, Sevierville, there you go. 
There you go, Barry. Maybe we'll come up and see you. I got some. I'm putting the AP on the W9, so I have to get the numbers done on the W9. It's like forcing me to get it done so I can take it up to to get something done on it. So, um, but yeah, T-Dub's called the jet ski we bought. It's the, the lakes are separated, so there's, you can't get from one to the other. So she, the guy was nice enough when we bought it. I said, hey, can we use it the Labor Day weekend? And then uh, can you bring it to the other lake? And he said, yeah, no problem. I got a trailer from other jet ski. I'll put it on that one. So he brought it to the other lake. T Dubs went with her dad to go meet him at the at the at the ramp. They launched it and she drove it to our, our neighbor's house and then um he's gonna go pick her up now. <laughs> so yeah, it's kinda crazy. But that's what's going on. Um but yeah, she's calling me to see like what do I do now? How do I tie it off? And I said, just tie it off to the to the thing. He'll come down there and tie it off better when he gets when he gets home. And then um she said, Leave the key. I said, Yeah, in case he has friends or somebody over. Well, that's what we said. We said, Hey man, if you mind if we leave it here, you can use it whenever you want. So of course, leave the key. So, what's up, Collins? What's up? It's about tigers, about lines, about nitty lines. Oh, Penn State, Lavar Arrington. What's your thought? And uh, what's his name? The running back for the Giants. Uh, what's your thoughts on the international Lone Star? Sick looking rig. Yeah, it's pretty nice looking rig. Christmas lights. <clears throat> Blueberry, what's up? Jump to become an owner up because of your content. There you go, Kevin. Congrats, man. What's Justin Jake here from Jake from Ireland? No, Jake from State Farm and Jake from Ireland. What's going on, Ireland? How you doing, man? Gamecocks raw. Uh, uh, so my house is a little bit closer to. Uh, what's up, Nick? How you doing? A little bit closer to Clemson. Probably about a good forty miles closer to Clemson than it is uh, the Gamecocks in Columbia. And Jeremy Rice. I thought it was two twenty twenty thirty five. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Talking about the engine twenty two fifty. Eddie, that's coming. That's happening pretty quick, man. Um, we just got a call today about the APU and the install, so uh, I have to drive it to where it's getting installed at and do content on it. So uh, we're going to probably get the numbers on it, at least get the decals on it and go do IRP. I wasn't going to do IRP because it's about 1400 bucks a year until I was going to be using it. So if you guys want to see it, I want to drive it. Uh, then I'll have IRP pl plates on both trucks. This IRP just got paid last month. Um, finally, he's getting in my trailer. I can feel him. Poor place I'm at, like, you'll see on today's video if you watch it, it's super, they don't have any room. They have enough room to like move one pallet down little aisles and there's stuff stacked everywhere. So he's gonna take off the pallet and then go put it somewhere where they have some room to come back and get another one. So he's gotta do that 22 times. David, what's going on? A die hard Giants fan, Saquon, there you go. I just hope he stays healthy. He seems like a nice dude too. New Jersey here and love this show, never tracked in my life. There you go, D. Some people, a lot of people that watch us, they don't even uh, have nothing to do with driving a truck. So we, we, we appreciate it. What is IRP plates? Uh, international rate plan. So it's like a registration for your car for driving a semi-truck. You like say what states you normally run in, how many miles you run in them, and your uh, rate will vary depending on that. So the first year you ever do it, they just put like um, zeros across the board for the states because they don't know where you've run yet. Your uh, ELD isn't too. Looking for my first CDO charge up decision making time. There you go, Ty Lewis. Remember the ball's in your court, man. They need you more than you need them. How much longer till the W9s? Nice? That's what everyone keeps saying, Chris. I just answered that a second ago. Um, we're probably gonna IRP it and put plates on it um, this week because next week I have something I have to do with it and I have to drive it. So, how did the kids like the RV trip? They loved it. That's what Cash has been asking for six months to go camping. So we're like, we're front, it was glamping, whatever you call it. But having all three of them, we wanted to really have the RV to, to kind of know that they're safe when they're sleeping if we're out hanging out by the fire. So we kept them in there. Advertise side trip. Uh, Robbie, I don't want to do that, man. I like having a little bit of privacy. I don't want to be like just trucking wherever I'm at. So I feel like the internet does that enough. I don't need to, to exploit it all the time when I'm driving down the road. Got this guy moving in. Come on in. There we go. Nice backing. He's going to one shot it. I two shotted it because I came in a little bit too far. There we go. Nicely done. Give me some shade also. I love it. Another Volvo. No, he's going to two-shot it. He's almost good. Yeah, he's pretty good online, too. Two-shot. Your grill gives it a... Yeah, exactly, TNT Cash. The, the most people that come up and say hi to me are saying, Oh, I saw the grill. I'm like, yep. <laughs> you don't see too many Volvos with a big C in the middle of them. <laughs> That's funny. Another 780 Volvo just pulled up. This is a six, a 760, the newer one. Please still shade me because his truck's longer than mine. He's got a bigger sleeper. So hopefully he can still give me some shade because he's about to touch... Now, the lady walk with him. T-Dub just sent me a movie of her driving a jet ski. 
and we got a 780 coming in so hopefully they're getting this off because this seems like it's the only two doors that they're using new jersey got a family member or truckers there you go tito michigan what's going on chris i do play american truck simulator there you go there you go david uh oil was uncle jason like being back in his oh he loves it and we love i love arizona too t-dubs loved arizona um if we could that wouldn't be like our top place to live but like top five places to live would be north scottsdale up by cave creek if anybody knows arizona like there's phoenix there's the university uh arizona state it's right by kind of the airport and then if you go up there's like where they have bear jackson and the golf tournament and a casino and then all the way up from that straight up is like just really nice uh, it gets a little bit of elevation. It's really pretty up there, but it's really pricey too. So a <laughs> million dollars up there, like our house, if we transplanted it over to there, would be like 1.2, 1.3 million dollars for the square footage. It's crazy. Roswell, George, what's up, Mike Barton? D-Dub Transport, Cape Creek Bars. I love Cape Creek. It's just the whole atmosphere. You feel like you went from like club in Scottsdale, I don't know, like uh, whatever you want to call it, new age stuff to the West. You're like in the cowboy country in, in a matter of a uh, 40 minute drive. I have boys, uh, D, that's why we always pray for uh, T-Dubs every day because her, luckily her oldest son, Cash, is an angel. He, he listens pretty well. And K Kason and Kylan, if you ever watch this later in, in life, uh, you are also angels. You're just a little bit more uh, hard to handle. <laughs> We tell you to do something, you don't listen so quickly, but your brother does. <laughs> so, but you're, you're all beautiful boys. I love you. Uh, yeah, BJ and Michelle, I love Arizona. Um, I love San Diego. If I could have a house in La Jolla, I can't, can't afford that ever. My, my focus right now in life, my goal, I always have to have a goal, is to hopefully get three trucks under my name after um, I get the W9 trusted and, 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 and running, and then uh, to pay off my house. So that's my two goals I have right now. CJ, what's going on? Hawaii, how you doing? What what island are you on, buddy? Uh, do you use CB? I don't use CB in the, in the uh, Volvo. I don't like all the extra static, so I don't use it. Nashville, what's up, Preston? Thanks a lot for being subscribed, 67. Uh, kiddos, no school to the tropical storm. Oh, okay. Kiddos are doing great. Uh, Christmas slides. Friends and family truckers spent hours at old Burns Bros truck stop back in the day. There you go. CB. And things have changed, people say. There used to be like a party row. People actually used to interact outside the truck. Now it's just everybody stays in their phone and watches Netflix or whatever they're watching. What's up, Brad? There you go, Nick Early. I don't know who's going to no moving by this. There you go, 10 years. That's what I'm, I'm just looking for people. What I'm going to really look for are people that are right there in, in Greenville. I want people that are maybe the furthest being like Columbia and like the border of Atlanta or like uh, Asheville because I just want to be able to have the trucks come back. If something needs to be done, I'll probably try to have one extra truck, maybe keep the Volvo as like the spare truck and then buy two or three. I love the 780 Volvo because it has more room. Um, and then I love this. I like. I haven't even been in a 680 ever, but I would probably get a 680 just because a lot of people like to have a Kenworth and it would go with the Kenworth theme of the... Uh, of the W9, so maybe we'll have a set, whatever I get a good deal on those. It'll all be Cummins Motors, 680s, or a 780 Volvo, or if I get a great deal on a 670 Volvo, just like this one, who knows? Who knows? But that's in the future. That's not happening anytime soon. That's just a goal. When I set a goal, I go for it. I'm going to set a whole nother, I'm going to start a whole nother set, another set of numbers, and then that, those three drivers will kind of share the insurance policy. Uh, hopefully, it won't be too much because we won't have anybody under two years of driving. And, uh, then it'll be there because I don't want anybody messing up my numbers. So I'm going to keep mine the way they are. And if something goes bad and those numbers and it just doesn't work out for a couple of years or if it goes great, nobody gets moved in violation. And they understand they're a team and one of them messes up, they all get hurt. That's what I kind of want to see, see happen. Marysville, Tennessee, what's going on? Kentucky, how you doing? Bristol, Connecticut, what's happening? 680s are good. Yes, it. Cat engine, I, I like the cat engine. I would love to do it. But um, okay, now we're moving. Now we're getting unloaded. Good. Let's see how long it takes them to do from this one to the next one. So we're at 1910 right now. That's the first one just came off. So he's got one off. Let's see how many, how long it takes to get the next one off. Um, Cannons are great, but I have personally taken apart this motor at the shop that I love and trust. Hey guy, diesel, H A G G A I in Griffin, Georgia. So I'm going to buy that motor repetitively because I know every single piece on it because I've taken it all apart. And, uh, and so is Cummins. are hard to get parts for too, but it's just, there's a lot more Cummins out there. Any service station you go to, international at Peterbilt or Kenworth, they'll always have that red C on the on the uh, wall somewhere saying we work on Cummins. So, India, what's going on, Regin? Ryan? 
Uh, Robert, I will. It's, yeah, uh, definitely. No, Robert. Uh, hi, Joe Stroken. How was your weekend? Awesome, Sean. Hope you had a great... Freddie, Freddie, come on. Thanks for 20 bucks, man. You're buying me dinner, man. Thanks a lot, brother. It was a great weekend. A little bit warm. I wish we could have had the boat out there, but um, I couldn't pull the boat with the motorhome, so it was, we wanted to have that motorhome experience, so it was, it was, it was great. It was, it's a lot of prep, though, on a motorhome to have everything you need out there and then to dump the tanks and all that stuff and then come right just for one day, but it was worth it. We got to hang out with t uh, brother. Her mom was with us, and we had a great birthday out there at Lake Greenwood. 46 years in Jerry Conte. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Uh, what do you mean numbers? Okay, numbers. So right now on the side of my truck, I have a DOT number starting with a three. It's actually 316, like John 3, 316. It's like it was meant to be. But um, those numbers, so if I go through a weight station, I'm overweight. If I go through a weight station, my truck's bleeding air out of somewhere, or I have a flat tire, any of those violations were hurt with what's called a CSA score. And if that score fluctuates or you have violations, when it comes down to get your insurance again, it's going to be way up. Is that APU still available? A uh, school, yeah. I, I didn't, uh, T-Dubs, sorry guys, T-Dubs hasn't been getting back to emails, but yeah, if you want the APU, I'll be probably taking it off in the next couple of days. And I'm really going to try and get all, because connections on the, the high and low side of the Freon, they tend to get really stuck. They even did on the race truck. That's why I haven't put the AC on the race truck yet. I haven't got that, that uh, fitting off yet. If I can't get those off, I'm going to have to cut the hoses, so I might need new hoses. If I can get them off, I'm going to heat them up and see if they come off, then um, it should all come off easily. easily. Yeah, Mickey or Nikki, you know about torquing the mains. I had a bar to take them off. I had like a um, bar, probably like an eight-foot bar, steel bar that went on, t on top of the breaker bar that was probably three feet long just to break those uh, head bolts loose and to get them tight. The biggest impact you can imagine with all the air power in the world, and, and they had to get them to tight, and then you had to torque them, and then you had to take an arrow and make it spin all the way around one time. And so you'd hit it as hard as you can and then come back up and look and see where the arrow was. It was like halfway. <laughs> I cash app you can have her get in. yeah sure Scully you can come get it man um, Rigmaster it's a nice APU it works I mean I, don't, I can show it to you the video again but it turns on does it everything it's supposed to I just don't trust it so if you have are you familiar with those and have uh, what's going on then you're good something's cracking I don't know if I'm hitting the the hood or what but um did you guys feel the truck move again I think that was three minutes so he got another one off. Sorry, guys, I'm going back to the bottom. Yeah, they're nasty. There you go. Copy that. 10-4, brother, Freddy, Freddy. Okay, there we go. So it's 22, so 22, 25, about three minutes from it. Hey, T-Dubs, how you doing? T-Dubs, I got your video, but I haven't watched it yet. Franklin, the other peanut. Hey, yeah, uh, Clips. That was, uh, I actually saw a bunch of smoke coming off today, and I could smell it. Uh, I've, I've actually picked up on that peanut plant for or delivered one of the two. Okay, so I hope that explains numbers. You get numbers by the DOT, and it's like there's a score associated with them. If you have violations against those numbers, or if you have brokers that you you have problems with or something like that, those numbers can get tarnished. And so you, my numbers on this authority are perfectly clean, and, and I'd be the only one on them. That's why. So I don't want to put a bunch of drivers on. Maybe one guy has a bad day, has a bad interaction with a girlfriend or a wife, or stuff happens in life. And I want to be responsible for my own numbers and... If I want to bring on other people, I want it to be a whole separate entity that uh, we can run off that. So that's what I'm talking about. And then when we get to that point, we'll probably start a dispatch service with T-Dubs because T-Dubs pretty good at dispatching, guys. She knows the lanes. She knows my lanes. So that's why I want to have people on this side of the U.S. too because I know these lanes, I can get you out from where I, around where I live and get you home because I know different loads that pop up. And, and if you want to go up to the main and check out main one time of year, you want to go up to the... Midwest, you can do whatever you want, but I know these lanes that you've seen, you've seen me run, so we'll probably do a dispatch service for the southeast in Florida, of course. <laughs> but that's all that's down the road. New numbers and, and a whole probably a brokerage two, one or two years from now. Once I trust the W9, probably if the W9 ever blows the motor, I'm going to order the new head now and get it uh, sitting on the shelf. So that's the hardest part to get. The rebuild kit's not as hard as the head or new head. So I get that uh, ordered now and then. I'm praying it gets to a million miles. This one's almost at a million, but we've rebuilt this one. So after that one's rebuilt, and I'll really trust the truck, and then I'll be able to let this one be an extra, buy three more. What's up, Rick? How you doing, buddy? Where are you now? I am in Virginia Beach with a bunch of fighter jets flying over, doing some cool patterns. St. Petersburg, what's up, Brian? Thanks a lot, man. Big man BZ, what's going on? Justin Hodges, what's happening, man? Because eventually your health's going to fade. I hope it's not, mine's not fading in the next 10 or 15 years so I can still beat my kids up uh, on the football field and stuff and, and beat them up on a basketball court. 
but I know I'm, I'm, I'm age is inevitable, and, and with along with that, I'm probably gonna have to get out of the truck at some point, and uh, hopefully we can start something else that will be able to to keep it going. You know. Hey, you're you're welcome. Two three two two was slang from hell. Oh, okay. What's cracking? There you go, Grego. Sorry, man. Happy Monday, you too, Jimmy. Sean, what's up, man? We're just talking about a robotic mower that I wish I could walk over there and show you. I probably could go check it out because Mr. Security Guard, I'm probably not on his radar anymore. We're at the beach. There you go. That's where everyone wants to be. England, what's going on? Um, Ross, you got, you got the same name as T-Dub's dad. I want to go check out the uh, robotic. Because there's a truck like parked right in front of that grass over there if, you're, if you've been in the live feed for a while. Chico, California, what's up, man? I've, uh, I've been to Chico State one time. Went up there with a buddy of mine from high school. Amy, how you doing? Wisconsin. Raleigh, there you go. I drove right by you, Brian. I went up uh, 85 today. Left the house about 5 a.m. Daytona, there you go. Michelle, we're actually thinking about like our next RV trip with like a diesel pusher RV or another gas motor one, whatever, but like the fully contained one. We're thinking of doing like Daytona for like the, the campsite and watching the race. I don't know if you have to book that way in advance or what, or if you can like get a campsite that somebody sold. What's up, DC? How you doing? Hey, Kevin, happy uh, truck appreciation to you, too. Thanks thanks a lot. We uh, picked a winner for the first day. We pick a winner every day, so I picked a winner for yesterday, so I'll probably pick a... Every morning, I'll pick a winner for the, from the previous day. So I just went through the comments, and some caught my eye, and I said, you're the winner. So it, it'll show up winner with a little trophy for the person that won. Southern Oregon, what's going on, Joe? Keys to keep keep decent tree be the ropes that's it man and that's my my hopefully end game is to get some kind of land somewhere hopefully between like us and clemson because the lake is on the way or that's on the way to the lake and then have a shop and then just film for you guys uh one of those crazy boys have a chance on the weekend or during the week to to, to do some cool stuff and then they'll go to school and come home and then i'll beat them on the basketball court in the backyard and then we'll do it again <laughs> what's up willie how you doing uh, Swanona, North Carolina. How you doing, Randy? North Dakota, what's up, David? Oh, what, what's the weather like in North Dakota? What's your temp at? Every day loads to Northern California. I haven't, Ted. Nope, I've been over here. Crispy, what's up, man? Thanks a lot, buddy. Um, no, we uh, still in Lynn Haven Mall. That's it. Pop Bear Lynn Haven Mall is like right across the way. I saw that on the, on the satellite imaging. You drive by Hypo all the time. I do. What's up, Southern Oregon? There you go. Yeah, um, Stubbs does. What's up? Cool. Rick, we were talking about that eventually. It's not right now. Probably like a year and a half or two years from now. Recently sub, good clean content. Thanks a lot, uh, Black Sheep. How are you doing? Cisco Wednesday, your channel has motivated. There you go. I'm, I'm glad I could help, man. 76 in New York. Oh, it's warm everywhere. 102 in Tucson. There you go. There's someone else that was 110 in Scottsdale. Everyone, yeah, so everyone that's working here, like they're uh, not typically warehouse dressed. Like that guy is just somebody that's leaving work right now. Uh, a couple ladies walked by in like a uh, business attire. So this building over here, if you watch the beginning of the live feed, is definitely like a, I think it's like an R&D uh, innovative building for them or something. For Hotshot Steven, I don't, man. The only person I know that does Hotshot is uh, Toe Piglet. Look him up. He seems to be doing really good at it, and uh, he's been doing it for a while. So I believe he has some good, honest content, um, but I don't know. I don't know anything about it. 66 in Michigan. There you go. That's the kind of weather. It was 66 this morning when I left South Carolina. Williamsport. There you go. Okay, so that was the fourth. He's got four off, and we got 22 of them in there. I uh, hope that. Uh, hi from Texas. What's up, Eric? You and Katie are an inspiration. We try to be. We're not perfect, guys. We show you. Of course, you're seeing what's on camera. We've had our we had our, our times even at the campsite with with. Kylan just not when he wants a nap he wants a nap and he's he is just a, a handful and so he was that way for a couple well, only one time but uh we go through our frustrations in life just like all you guys but we show you the good parts so we show you all the fun stuff Kalamazoo Michigan how you doing 80 degrees 85 in Chicago it's warm up there when I was up there uh in Lamont with the green APU it was nice that day was real nice a little breeze uh, be picking up the load of ice cream tomorrow. There you go, d <laughs> Keep that reefer cold. Prescott, I love Prescott. That's beautiful, 90 degrees. Yeah, so it's 110 in Scottsdale. It's 20 degrees cooler in Prescott, which is only like a hour drive, 45 minutes if you're a race car driver. Negative 45 here at 3,700 above Pacific flying a load. Oh, you're flying, there you go, Reno. 
<laughs> How are you watching while you're flying? 82 in Honolulu. There you go, CJ. How's Honolulu doing, man? I visited there 99. And then I've flown into it uh, twice going to different islands. Like we stopped there and then we, we took a jumper. Uh, I went to Lanai one time where Bill Gates got married. That's a real pretty island. Really cool. A lot of deer. It's like there's like a famous deer hunting there with bows. 85 in Williamsport. There you go. What's the title about? Oh, <laughs> All right, someone just commented, what's the robotic mower? Let me see if I see his butt over there again. There's like a little, so we're at a still factory. They make mowers, chainsaws, like a lot of garden power tools. We'll see it. I don't know if somebody picked them up or not because I haven't seen them in front of this truck over here, but we have a robotic mower. Let's, uh, let's try to escape security guards because security guards said, what are you doing? I said, nothing. Let's see if we can find Mr. Mower. Sorry about the shaky vision, guys. I think he's gone, guys. He went to sleep. Where is he? There he is. I think he's at home position. He's hiding. So earlier he was uh he was roaming for us. <laughs> I think he's in charge. Maybe that's like yeah, that's where he charges. That's kind of cool. So he he feels like he did his job and now he's back on his mat. Hello, Mr. Mower, but he was all over the place earlier. What's up, dude? So it's like got a little uh charge thing right there. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, but he was uh he was all over the place. <laughs> but the grass looks great. So uh, point in case is still mower, robot, works great. Let's walk back and hopefully security's not like, get out of here. We wanted to see Mr. Mower. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. But yeah, that's the, that's the title of the video. <laughs> robot mower. When I was waiting to back in, I was like, what is that over there moving around? It's a mower. Does anybody in the chat have one of those or know any of their friends that has one? Do, 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 do. You got one. <laughs> so how how does it work, man? How much can it? Uh, how much distance can it cover? Like, do you, does it give you a little map saying I've mowed all this? It'd be cool if you could like put a design in where it wouldn't mow that area. That'd be really cool. Knuckle has one. Three thousand bucks. Wow. Still makes some cool technology. The old house had one about installing one. There you go. Send a pic of your lawn. LOL. <laughs> Robots loading trucks. No, there's a cool dude with a uh, America flag mask on. But the first guy, when I walked in the door, like just ignored me. So I just stand there for like three minutes and then the other guy in the fork was like, what do you need, man? <laughs> need to get unloaded. <laughs> Pretty cool, I know a few that have them. 30 minute run time for theirs, there you go. Yeah, he was, he would hit the curb and then just turn and go that way and go back. Pittsburgh, what's up, Jeffrey? But yeah, it was, it, that's the robot motor, so that's why I put that in the title. But I walked that way, opposite of that grass. And you know, like there's a little, uh, break table with a fountain right there, like a nice shooting up 20 foot fountain. And I was doing the whole selfie mode thing and a guy came out, hey, no pictures here. So I just put the phone down by my side and walked over here. East Tennessee, yeah, I've done a couple loads out of East Tennessee, like uh, Bristol area. I just was up there in Newport. You hum the song, Tom's Diner, Susan's <laughs> Vega, I love me, <laughs> I do. That's what my grandsons are for, there you go. Uh, Paul, someone else, there we go, I wonder what that one is, point number six. Uh, someone else is trying to, uh, I think, grab that. Scully, I saw him earlier, he said he emailed. So the first person that emailed T-Dubs, uh, I'm going to give them priority, and she'll just go by the date, and then if they don't come through for some reason, whatever, um, I'll be pulling it off the truck 
if not during the week this week, if I get home with the load, uh, the weekend, I'll definitely, that's project number one, because I have to get that surface behind it nice and clean and painted and cured before we put the new APU in front of it. So um, I gotta get that thing out. I gotta get that one out and the HVAC unit out from under the bunk and all the lines. So now that I've seen how green APU works, I see how all of them are gonna work. So we'll do that. And then we gotta pick out which inverter to buy. If any of you guys have an inverter that you love, I don't, well, maybe I'll run a microwave now with the bigger truck and with T-dubs, but really I just run a TV, a printer, and that's it, and the fridge. Sapron from Knox. So what's up, Stretch? New driver needs best APU for truck routes. Needs best APU for truck routes. There you go. Well, the a green APU is the one I'm, I'm living and dying by with that uh, tensioner on the serpentine belt. Trevor, New York will starve. Okay. Good afternoon, Justin. Nice to see you. Happy to appreciate uh, driver appreciate. Thanks a lot, Brian. Ever see yourself in electric semi? I don't, man. I don't know what's going to happen. Scully, there he is. I already said to him, Scully's the one that's getting the, the first one. But she can look back and see I emailed a few times. There you go. There you go, Scully. No problem, man. Smash them like buttons. Come on, chat. There you go. I would like to come and get you T-dubs and kids and take you on. There you go, Thomas. We'd love to, man. What kind of plane are you flying, dude? That'd be awesome. If you're ever flying to GSP, the boys, Cash, that's another thing Cash always wants to, or he asks for every now and then. He's been asking to go camp until we did that. And he says, I want to go to airline flight. I have my bag. I have my bag ready. So I want to go I want to go fly. I said, okay, buddy. No more diesel in California. Oh, 2035. Is that Trevor? So that, uh, I see what you guys are saying. Uh, Paul, I did. I got the, the APU for free so as a as a co collaboration. So we have a contract, and uh, I will never lie to you guys. I, I promote it because I also was looking. I was going to buy one, 3,500-watt inverter. Like, what company, though? What's the best inverter company? I see the ones at the truck stops, but is there, like, a better one that you can buy online? Or what's the best one that you guys love that's never giving you any problems? Because I have... IR, like a red IR is an inverter I have right here. Never having a problem with that thing. It's been great forever. But uh, yeah, Green APU, I heard about it first from a, a YouTube channel called James Best. Uh, James Best Trucker. He, he he can be raunchy sometimes, so he's not for everybody, but he's a great source of information that a lot of truckers go to. And um, I was in there and he was talking about APUs and they, Green APU came up, so I asked him about it and then I looked him up and I said, this is an awesome company. So I had T-Dubs email them and <clears throat> they said, sure, we'd love to work with you. And that's how it all became to be. So we are going to do a whole video of them installing it. And they, they can tell us more about the specs and everything like that. And they'll show you how much, how well it works inside and all that stuff on top of it. Harbor Freight, there you go. Uh, love the green APU. Thanks a lot, Adobe. Performer Inverter, okay. Come camp at Night Jack Lake. There you go. Brooklyn's in the house. Good morning. What's up? Good morning. Where are you at? Kevin Vance. A road test from Saturday. Wish me luck. There you go, Jay. Big luck your way, man. All the employees are leaving. It's like five. Come with an uh, in-house inverter. No, these uh, dead dog. It doesn't. But a lot of, a lot of like even this truck. This truck's APU is only is uh not heating. It's just cooling and and fan. So I have a separate bunk heater underneath my truck that runs off the power from the APU. But um, this APU, green APU, has a whole HVAC system where you have lines coming off your truck and it, it heats up the coolant so that's pretty cool energizer 4000 is great okay thanks a lot keith i'll look into that one man bush brothers yeah bill i've driven past bush brothers a couple times when i was picking up from like uh congra and when we were going to the uh, casino we were camping at um what's it called greenwood lake i'm here somewhere there you go <laughs> internet time morning i'm in minnesota okay Belgium, what's going on? Patrick, how you doing? I've been to Bruges and Brussels, so I loved Bruges. A little tiny town with a brick, uh, a little square. It was like a four square with a bunch of buildings, and uh, we had some beers there. We had some chocolate there. There was a festival going on right by that little river. I don't know if you've ever been to Bruges, but I recommend it for anybody. The local guy. <laughs> Did you block me? I did not block anybody. PA in the house, camping this week. DC's in the house. What do you think about mud flap app? Uh, one of another YouTuber, uh, Nevada, came in and said that it's a good one. But then when we came down to comparing the price, where I get my diesel from a QT in South Carolina, that was like on par with the best price that that mud flap app gave. So, oh, Jay, I don't know. Was there a James Best and Dukes that has it? I don't know. 2045, we're going to cancel all trucks. I don't know, Lewis. I don't know how we're going to move everything unless we get a 
zero gravity technology. I don't know. But uh, I don't know how we're going to move stuff without trucks. Uh, Leland, because this APU, three years running in this truck, it's been pretty good. It has a lot of belt problems. I'm putting on my second compressor, I put on two alternators. Um, so it's needed a lot of maintenance. So the um, green APU, that tensioner and all that stuff, I really just, if I, would they give me two of them? I would definitely put one on the Volvo, but the Volvo's APU works when it works. So, but it's not as reliable as the green. Been driving a Blazer? I haven't, Travis. I have to change the uh, leveling sensors on both sides for the bags. They must have shrunk them down so the truck would lower because the front's lowered pretty, pretty low, but uh, the bags don't fill up high enough and it's bouncing. So they fill, but I need to either get them to, to back to stock form. I don't know if they just unscrewed or screwed them in. I need to unscrew them so that those, le <gasps> those levelers tell it to get a little bit higher in the back so we're not sitting on the ground. Yeah, truck is not being canceled. Do anything for Louisiana. I'm driving there and motor broke completely. You doing it? Uh, MC, I didn't know. Your engine broke? I'm sorry, man. T's and P's. What kind of motor was it? What happened to it? Hope they don't cancel the trucking. They won't cancel the trucking industry. Thanks a lot, Graham. How you doing? What's up, Official Willis? How you doing? Does it have 4,000 inverter bunny power? <laughs> well, I hope it does. Tell us how much power is going to it. Uh, Travis, what's going on? Got your rear hatch looks fixed yet. Check the boot at the top of the hatch and see if there's any broken wires. That's what I'm gonna do, Crispy. I pulled that little rubber boot back, but I put it back on. Because yeah, when I was pushing up on that to put those shocks on, it definitely uh, um, was making some movement. So maybe something's in there is, uh, is blocked. We'll uh, be on Ken's channel. Willis, we'll be on Ken's channel. What do you eat every day, bro? Uh, I just don't eat that much. <laughs> My, I firmly believe you, you, the bigger you get, the more you eat. So, um, I mean, I've been on the apple diet. You do have to go to the bathroom a little bit more, but, um, I've read that apples and cucumbers help you lose body, like belly fat and stuff. So who knows if that's true or not, but T-Dubs laughs at me because she thinks I'm just making stuff up, but the older you get, it's harder to keep weight off. So, um, I've been, I just don't really eat breakfast. I eat a little bit, like a, a tiny breakfast burrito or some kind of small carb, a bagel or something, but I don't eat a big breakfast ever. I guess that's somewhat a fasting till lunch, and then I'll eat like a pretty good size lunch or uh, and then a pretty good size dinner. But I try to do chicken sandwiches or, or, or subs whenever I can. But like this, when we were at the camping, I ate a bunch of s'mores, I ate a bunch of candy with my kids. I ate um, the country broil was awesome, shrimp sausage and crab's legs. I don't know, I'm not a big crab leg fan. So T-Dub's a huge cra crab leg fan. For the amount of work you do, I feel like it, it just doesn't satisfy for how much food you get. So, I mean, a lot of people love crab's legs though. TV series known as American Truckers and they have one saying, your house even, your house post put back to truck. Trucks move America, that's right. Cucumber, yeah, I'm not a big cucumber fan and cucumbers aren't like easy to eat on the fly, so I've been doing a lot of, uh, I honestly haven't eaten one cucumber, but I've probably eaten about 40 apples, so. In case we were sitting all day, starting in 2006, it's cause we were sitting, yeah, exactly. In, so in 2006, you were 165 and now you're 240, exactly. I'm lucky, I'm, uh, I've worked as hard as I can to be able to book my own loads. And that's the freedom of owner operator. A lot of people say they love the company, um, stability, the, the no paperwork, the headache. It's really not that much headache for running your own authority. Um, IRP is once a year. Bach three is once a year. UCR is once a year. It's these things that you don't know what they mean, but you get to know what they mean by having your own authority. The biggest thing you get with your own authority is the freedom to just do what you want to do. I don't have a load after this load. I can go wherever I want to go. If I want to go make money and go northeast, I can. If I want to try and get something, which I hope my broker comes through and gets me the load that's going right back to Charlotte from Franklin, kind of by the peanut plant. Um, that he that one's offered at nine hundred dollars delivery tomorrow morning. So, commercial sound. What's going on? Love the green from content. Stone Mountain. How you doing? Thank you so much. Um, that's a freedom is the way, the biggest thing I think of having your own numbers and running your own authority and expansion. If you want to put people on, but then you're kind of putting yourself at risk for one of them hopefully not hurting anybody or getting a bad accident you're everyone's kind of in trouble then but uh what do you think about driverless trucks i don't know camper man i think the infrastructure which infrastructure is the roads the, the lanes if my truck can barely stand on the road because of all the bad potholes and stuff how are those trucks gonna stay on the road so if it's like a straight line dedicated lane maybe texas from california or something like that but once you start getting into the windy roads in the smaller cities that's not gonna happen bill thomas there you go They're great for Potassium levels, that's awesome too, yep. 
More money and opportunities at flatbed trailer or drive-in. Uh, Joshua, depends on where you live, and that's that's kind of a vague answer, but it really depends on if you have a bunch of construction or a big mill by your house or a lot of big machinery being made or transformers, stuff like that that's gonna go on a flatbed. Where I live, drive-in is very prevalent. It makes, it's good for anything. So drive is good for where I live in the South. South Carolina is where I live. Um, would you consider doing a dedicated run with one company? Michael, no. I don't like, I like being able to go where I want to go. Like if T-Dubs and I want to go down to Tampa for my birthday or for our anniversary, I can look for a load going to Tampa. If I need to go up to see my mom in Kentucky or I want to go up and see New York, we can do that. We can, there's always loads going somewhere. Like that, it, it's crazy. I can make as much money going down to Orlando as I can make going all the way out to California or like Arizona. It's, it's ridiculous. So a lot of people didn't want to get back home. That's why I think those loads stay a little bit less, uh, expensive is because people want to get back to the west on the side of the road just saying uh, i'm not stuck on the side of the road i'm getting unloaded amazon there you go keith is that the uh, inverter thanks man can you if you can can you please email that to just truck and wife and she'll buy it on amazon if that's the energizer one about to make the move there you go derek what's the future plans for screaming chicken uh, big hands <laughs> if, if holly efi which is one of the leading uh wire harnesses out there if I ever get the other part of the harness that comes out of the firewall to the injectors, the all the sensors, the alternator, all that kind of stuff, um, then we'll be able to actually get that thing to fire. But I have all the fuel line. The fuel it has a brand new fuel tank with a fuel uh, sending unit already in it. Brand new pump, 255. Uh, it's going to have plenty of that. I just need to run the line to a C5 and run it in return, and then run it up to the rail. Then we have fuel. I need to run the coolant lines down to the intercooler or the heat exchanger and back and wire up the pump that's all so it should be firing but right now it's kind of on hold i just don't have enough time to do everything dude i'm guys i'm trying to get the w9 running because we all want to see that going and it's just a beautiful truck and it has so much room only thing i wish it had was more room between the seats anybody that has a w9 or a pack r I, the peter Bell has a little bit more more room but that that smaller cab is makes the seats close together but the back is amazing it's, it opens up like crazy run houston denver round trip there you go Sell me your SS rims. No way, Sammy. You mean to say Australia road trains? There you go. Never mind. There was a whole paragraph just explaining good idea to run cooling from the engine debut. Oh, okay. Not a good idea. Dead dog. Okay, yeah. You're talking about green APU. You know, they're, they're, they know what they're doing. They All the technology they brought from their racing from the uh, rally car, so they know what they're doing. You need Australian road trains. There you go. What? How loud are those things? Because the W9 has the typical old old school trucker horn, but uh, went back for S home to SC. There you go, Paul. When the new KW, that's what everyone asked, Eric. It's uh, APU is probably going to be installed next week. We're trying to figure out the master technician is in North Dakota right now teaching some other tech at another location, like everything they know about the Gen 5. And then uh, whenever he's got the time and I have the time to meet, we're going to meet and get that thing in there. Washington State, what's up, man? Fast just had your your truck in Mexico. Uh, fast have had my truck in Mexico. My my Volvo, my Volvo probably had like in the high 80s. Um, just passing somebody that was dumb or some or mid 80s probably. I don't know, but I don't typically go above the 70s. What's going on, Sumter? What's happening, Cecil? Should I put an old style Claxton horn on my car? Probably. Greensboro, North Carolina. What's going on, jo uh, Roger? Uh, Goldsboro is actually where my first base my brother was ever stationed at. Greensboro is pretty too, right off 85. I drove right past you. Yeah, I stopped at exit 150 today and refreshed. Get the W9 to the Department of Transportation certified. What do I have to do? Um, Adam, you have to go down and get IRP plates. Um, the title's already transferred to my company, but I have to get the IRP and then you have to, um, I have to switch to insurance and then you have to get a DOT inspection, which is like all your lights working, no big air leaks, no lights on in your dash. Uh, it's that kind of stuff. So that has to be done before I can get her going. Southern Mississippi, what's up, Ben? What's this guy? This guy's taking all of his tools with him, or maybe he's jumping a car or something. I'm in class and learning double clutch. There you go, Nicholas. Where is he taking that thing? I don't know. Going somewhere. VCG, it's going great. How's yours doing? I love self dispatch. That's, and that's the thing about it. It's, it's the freedom. Uh, Lee's out. A lot of people don't. A lot of people want to have a, a two loads booked and back to back after their loads are on. 
not me. Unless, uh, unless it's something I want to come right back or I have to be back home, I book day of because uh, never know. Like today, I'm I'm two hours late to this delivery that I would like to have been because Charlotte had a huge accident. I was stuck in it for an hour. Viking driving school in Chicago. There you go. A lot of containers. A lot of containers waiting in the in the uh, Pacific Ocean right now off the port of Long Beach too. Swanee, what's going on, man? Thanks for watching, Chris. I love Swanee because that means I didn't have to go into Atlanta from my house <laughs> to deliver. <laughs> what's up, UPS? Turn around. Coming back at us. Daddy Papa, train horns is a horn. It's like four or five trailers close to 200. Oh, it's aren't a horn. Okay. It's four or five trailers close to 200 feet of trailer. Wow. That's crazy. Diesel, what's going on, brother? Speaking of Australia, there's Diesel from Australia. Just hauled a load yesterday with a 9061 Mac. Wow. That's mad, mad track. That's some stuff to get some footage of right there. Come to Ohio, Country Contra 22, best weekend of country music. There you go. Clay, is it as good as Country Thunder in uh, Florence, Arizona? Because I love Country Thunder. It's a good time. They do it right at the right time of year where it's not too hot, not too cold, and uh, it's a pretty good time. A bunch of campsites, great artists. 757 here also. There you go, Donnie. So with you having two 18-wheelers, would you want to have one trailer for both trucks? Would you want... I'm going to have... If we do get our own numbers and that stuff, that's another thing. If, if this market doesn't equal out and these trucks don't come to a reasonable price... And if trailers don't come to a reasonable price, I'm not going to be putting anybody on or starting any numbers. I might start the numbers, but don't activate the insurance um, or something because I'm not paying $45,000 for a used dry van and $60,000 for a used 680. So we're going to try and get the $30,000 truck and the $20,000 trailer. If we can get back to those prices, then we'll do it. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Uh, manner of things, robot mower, <coughs> robot mower started driving in 74. There you go. 5 million miles. Thanks a lot, Eugene, for your service. You've delivered plenty of goods for everybody. We're going to uh, helping veterans. We will have the W9 probably irp this week and then um, get the decals on the doors because we have to get the APU installed uh, next week. Rejected loads. GVP, I've never had like a full rejected load. You'll deal with that with reefer. A lot more and typically you'll find a dump or like if you're lucky enough a uh, Tourette's trucker has one that's another good channel to watch Tourette's trucker where he's dumping all of his load that was rejected but his was like film it wasn't reefer and that was like film that they didn't like or didn't want or something and uh, you had to find a dump or something if they do cancel the trucking industry uh, we're, no one's canceling Lewis <laughs> so by that time we'll all be just li living in our houses with robots, I guess, like the Jetsons, who knows. Didn't get a third drone yet, Big Hands. I actually was looking for it this morning before I left the house at 5 a.m. I can't remember where I put the box. I'm pretty sure I didn't put it in this truck, but I'll look for it. But like the the one that I had to return the protection plan on, they sent it back in like a brand new box that was like perfectly sealed, like an iPhone kind of thing. And that one was like brand new. And then the other one that I sent in just to get fixed, they sent it like a like a styrofoam wrapped thing. I was like, okay. <laughs> so if you use the actual protection plan, they send it to you like brand new. If you use like the repair service, they just send it back to you with like a bubble wrap. Uh, I mean, no diesel truck sounds like a New York. Yeah. That's why I hope we can get the W9 going and get into California a couple of times before it's like nothing's allowed in California. I don't know what they're going to do, like have a relay system at the border or what, because all the goods coming from the east... Unless they're just going to produce everything themselves. I don't know how they're going to get stuff into California. Who knows? They have like a relay system. Artscape, what's going on, Lisa Lisa? New trucker, Rick. Just be patient. Don't let people rush you. There's a lot of guys out there to honk their horn at you or at a truck stop. They think they know everything. But they could have, be having a bad day. They could be a company driver for 20 years and just be frustrated with life. And they think they know it all because they've been through it all. But you're just starting. So take your time because they were there at 1.2 and I was there at 1.2. Tank has it hidden in his room. Probably, Jimmy, Tank's probably reverse engineering it to try and start a truck and drive it down the road. That, that kid, man, he's got my my love for drivable machinery, like boat and land. But uh, T Dub's doing awesome. She actually sent me a video. I wish I could like somehow show you guys on my live. I don't have all that. I just do my lives from my phone, guys. I don't get on a computer and do like streams and stuff. But uh, she sent me a video of her. She should have a video dropping today about her moving to jet ski or maybe a couple days we'll do footage t -Dubs likes to like put a couple little clips from different things she's done in one video so she doesn't do one every day but thank you for all you guys that watch her channel just truck and wife she truly appreciates it that's extra money for her 
uh, to spend wherever she wants to spend it. Lisa, thank you. You God bless you too. Get an iPad for the truck, fine loads, yeah. I have a laptop back here and uh, I just never use it. Just use my phone. Whenever I stop quickly at a truck stop or do something, it's so easy just to pull up those apps real quick and check what's going out there, make some bids and then keep going. Electric wouldn't work with OTR, yeah, I don't think so. Thanks a lot, Rick Ferguson. What's up, Web Titan? Uh, oh, we're green light, guys. We're out of here. All right, I'm gonna go get that paperwork, but I'm not gonna bring my phone out because I got yelled at for uh, videoing, so. God bless you. Thanks for stopping in today, and uh, should be a cool video today. It's a lot of driving, but you also see that accident that I got in, or not, I didn't get in, but was involved around, so I had to wait a while for everything, but kind of buy your laptop. No, I need it for every now and then if I have to do something, you know? But yeah, God bless you guys, and uh, we'll see you